Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Girl Sarah D. And as you guys have seen from the title and the thumbnail, today I'll be showing you guys how to make a quick and easy end screen using Canva and how to upload it to YouTube and add the video links to make it effective. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications, share this video with your friends and family, and let's get right into it. hey guys welcome back to my channel so based on a request from a friendly youtuber today i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a quick and easy end screen and how to attach it to your videos as well as the link videos on it for optimization of your video content so without further ado let's get right into the video you want to go to your search and you want to type youtube end card on canva so today's video we're going to be using canva we can also create this by ourselves on pixart or any other um platform but this is the easiest way you just get um, ready to use templates so i honestly 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 recommend canva to every creator because it's like really really easy so right off the bat you can see this pink one at the top um and then you see this brown one at the bottom as well um the one i have is something similar to the pink one but let's see what else they have um down here um you can see this one as well which has a thank you for watching um that's cute kind of plain so yeah you can see there's different types but for the sake of this video we're just going to go ahead and use something simple i think this one is really entering my eye and i think i might end up using it for myself actually after this video so with canva it's basically already prepared for you all you have to do really is to just change up what you want um change up the name for example so i'm going to type here busola or not capitalized busola a day okay so we're just going to remove this fashion designer because i really don't know what to okay i can just use lifestyle vlogger Okay, so we have lifestyle vlogger down there so this particular person uses previous video and then we have next video so most times that is for people who actually pre-plan their content so you can change this to a playlist um and then change this to okay you can leave this as previous video which is something that you can actually do and then you have the don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching so basically this is kind of ready to use you replace this one with a picture of yourself okay for instead of the video we're just going to use this picture i think that's a cute picture and it's like brown so it goes in with the theme of what we're doing um okay we need to change bruv okay so that is there we're just going to zoom it in a bit just so that my face is more of a focus okay i think i like that so personally i do not like to have the pictures or anything there so i leave mine blank okay so i delete the grid i leave just the blank um basically so that it doesn't confuse me and then only the, like in the event where you forget to actually add in the, the end the end screen on youtube it doesn't just show a picture just there you get so yeah so delete the grid so just leave the whites there that's perfectly fine um yeah so this basically is is a very simple basic easy template to use so you want to export and then download so i'm just going to change file type for to png um and then it will just save as a picture now there are other templates that are not videos so this one is because i picked a template that was a video so this is just the basic thing that you need you just need something like this you can create this on pixels honestly just put in the circle put in the two boxes on the sides and that is simply adding your text and that's literally all you need honestly so yeah so once it's saved on your phone you want to always remember when you're adding in your intro to your video you also want to add in your outro so this is your out after your outro this is your end screen and it should be on your your screen for at least 10 seconds i should mention that 10 seconds so that it doesn't um pop up on the video itself just on the end card okay i hope you guys understand what i mean next we're going to go into chrome or any browser that you're using on your phone and you want to go into 
studio youtube.com and then you're going to open it when it opens to this particular page i don't know what it shows on ios but i think it shows this exact same page you go to continue to studio and this is how you're going to be able to literally edit everything about your video on your phone without a laptop so if you don't have a laptop you can honestly use youtube studio just always continue to desktop instead of going to the application because the application doesn't have all the options that the web page has all right so yes we're going to click on the three lines at the top left corner you're going to click on content now you can see all your videos lined up you're going to pick the particular video that you want to add the end screen to Okay, so on your far right, you see this um, small screen where you can actually view your video, look at the quality that it's uploaded on, and then you see visibility, restrictions. So this particular video has a copyright claim, but it's okay. It doesn't have any restrictions to my video, so I'm not going to have to do with that. So what we're coming to is we're coming to end screen, right? So you're going to click on end screen. It opens up this page for you to edit. As you can see, I actually did put mine on my video. But for the essence of this video, I'm going to just delete them so that I can show you how to import them if you're, this is your first time. Yeah, so now you can see it's blank. I'm going to just move this slider down to where mine starts. So you can see that this is where my template comes in. So you're going to have to just like slide it and see where your template actually comes in. Then for me, I already have like a pattern that I use. You can customize this yourself. Um, you can add elements so you can click the plus sign add elements and that is how you can add what you want to add so you can add video so I'm going to just teach you like this is from scratch so as you click on add video you can see that this popped up now you can move this to where you want it to sit now because this is where I have my boxes I'm going to move them to this area right and I'm going to just adjust it until it sits okay right okay so now it sits on top and then you're going to click add element again and then you're going to add in sorry i made a mistake you're going to add in a playlist i like to just use one playlist one video so for playlist you want to click a playlist from your list of playlists that actually resonates or like is in line with the particular video that you filmed so for this particular video i don't i wouldn't say i have a playlist that has music or spotify rap so i'm just going to add this into my vlogs so once it's added, you want to align it with the one that is on top so that they are on the same line. And then for the first one, I should have, sorry, I forgot to actually say this. Um, the first one, I actually put it on my most recent upload. So like, apart from this video that you're currently watching, the damage, it shows them the previous video before this one. You can also pick best for viewer, which shows them a video which um, is on your channel that is best for them based on what they watch and then you can choose a specific video if you want to boost um, the views on a particular video on your channel you can come on here and pick let's say recreating thumbnails so i picked that particular video and that particular video is the one that is shown to them okay so yeah but personally i like to leave it on my most recent upload or best for viewer um depending so now you can see that it has moved and shifted to part of where the video is so i'm just going to slide it back just use the slider to move back to around where okay so now this is the tricky part it's quite easier okay yeah, there's one more element i want to add i like to add in a subscribe uh, which brings up your um channel photo profile photo so next thing you want to do is you want to move this so you can manually just like um move your slider right and see where it starts or where it stops where this stops where this starts and look at what time that is so here you can see that it's 15 29 06 so you can actually manually come here and type 15 29 06 and it automatically moves that is one way to do it um but the other way to do it is to click on the one that you want to adjust it's very tricky because it doesn't move easily and then move it like that okay so that's another way you can do it either one works um but yeah that way you've moved it and then when you play the video 
this is the end of the particular video that I was editing and then you see that it pops up so I need to just move this so you just keep playing with it until you get it perfect honestly and basically yeah that's there you have it that is how to add on your end screen and anybody that's watching your video can see anybody that's watching your video publicly and not a downloaded offline video will see this after they've watched your videos so if you have any questions or something i didn't explain properly let me know in the comment section down below and without further ado i'll see you guys in my next video let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see what other graphics you like to like you'd like me to show you how to make then let me know in the comment section as well uh thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe so notifications and share this with your friends and family and i'll see you guys in my next one bye